Tell y'all how this rock changed my whole life. You know, life funny, man. Go through your little ups and downs. That's what it's all about. What up, Snickers? Let me get a piece of that Snickers. No. Hey, Romeo, you gonna be a star one day. Cause you bless you. You know what? I'm gonna take y'all 10 years back. I'm Romeo, and I'm God's gift. Hey, yo, Pops, kiss. All right, son, keep your head up. When you dribble, always hold your head up. Never look down, never look down. This is a ball, you got rhythm. Check the rhythm, I told you. What about the rhythm? Get the rhythm, get the rhythm, get the rhythm. Look, it's just like playing drums. It's just like playing drum bastard. Or bastard. You see what I'm saying, son? Keep your head up. Take the ball up, you're playing me. Free game, I won't see how tough you is. Get to the basket, get to the basket. I'm gonna hit you tomorrow. What you gonna do? I'm gonna big man get on you. What you gonna do? You gonna cry? Huh? I keep telling you, I don't care how big somebody. How big they is. Your heart gotta be bigger, right? It's about gay. Huh? It's about gay. What's that? That's what's gonna get you in the house. What I said, how big your heart is, that's what I said. It don't matter how big you is, right? How big your heart is. Come on, let's go. See how big your heart is. Oh. What did you want about the foul for? Somebody foul you. What if the ref missed the foul? What if the ref? Huh? What if the ref missed that? What if the ref missed that? Uh, huh? What you gonna do if the ref missed it? Uh, it's that. My dad puts me around on the basketball court because he knew at my age, competition wouldn't be as competitive as he was. He also wanted me to have heart and fear no man. We all got two eyes, two arms, two legs. We all bleed blood. You fall down, you get back up. Only the strong survive. <laughs> you know, all this time he was building me to be a real man. Even when Pops was standing right there by me, it seemed like I was dreaming he was telling me something to keep my game tight. Life is like basketball, son. One shot could change your whole life. And you know what? Sometime you might have to pass the ball just to win. You hear what I'm saying? Let's go. <laughs> and when he said, let's go, that didn't mean we was going home. We had more work to do. He was preparing me to be stronger, faster, and smarter. The six million dollar man, the number one lottery pick. <laughs> you know, even though I was tired running around that track, 
I always knew one thing, that I was going to be a professional athlete one day. I guess that would kept me going. If I would have stopped, Pops would have killed me. What's wrong? I'm tired, Dad. I want to go play with them. With the kids? Yeah. You ain't going to play with them. What I told you, you got other important things. Don't you want to get to college? Why they run around there playing games? You know what I'm saying? What I mean, you understand? I understand. Come on, let's go. Fred, where's Lance? He's in the bathroom, but I'm going next. No, you're not. This is my house. Open up. What are you doing here? Messing my hair. No problem. I don't know. See, I grew up in a small house in a big city. <laughs> my pops was tough on me, but he always showed me love. He didn't always have the same opportunities as me as a kid. One thing he always stressed was hard work, get your education, well, you and bring his know, ball sir. with you everywhere you go. That That's your ticket up out of here. <laughs> What's happening? Just listen to some music. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you, boy. When I got you out there working in the rain or on the basketball court, I'm pushing you because I want you to be the best you could be. All right? All right. So don't look at it like, hey, man, what's wrong with Pops? Why is he doing this to me? No. Everything in life, don't nothing come easy, no matter what you do. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, we have to work for, We have to work hard for it. Exactly, got to work hard for it. Then you might not be seven foot. You understand what I'm saying? But that don't make you can't be a giant. You know why? It ain't about what size the man is, what it's about. It's about the size of his heart. Exactly. This is one day, son. When you grow up, I want you to go to college. And you see this? You see this? This is your first trophy. And I know you're proud of this, but this ain't enough, son. By the time you get older and get in high school and go to college, you should have a room full of these if you handle your business on the basketball court. You hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you look at this tonight and you think about it where you want to be in life and how many of those you want because that's going to tell what you done did right on the basketball court. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a symbol. You got a big heart? Got a huge heart. Exactly. That's my boy. <laughs> I went to bed that night thinking I'm going to get a thousand of these trophies. I can also hear mom saying, clean your room, boy. Make sure you say your prayers. That homework better be done. I love you, son. And I smiled to myself, thinking one day, Mom, I'm gonna make you proud. <laughs> you need to go in there and try to do your best, and don't let your dad know. I did my best. All right. My well, mom will be here when you get back, okay? Okay. Watch the traffic. Look both ways. <laughs> Mom always told me to look both ways. I went to school. Pops was already at work. He started at 6 o'clock in the morning. Pops must have been a robot because he never sleep. He told me everybody got a role to play. He pay the bills, I go to school, and Mom take care of the family. That's our little system. It wasn't perfect, but it was working. And I always thought that one day I could make it better. Class, we got the test back. And unfortunately, everyone is going to have to take the test again. Romeo, you scored the highest. I scored the highest on the test, but it only was a C plus, and a C is average. Pops want me to be above average. He want all A's. He want me to go to college. The reason is because him and mom never had that opportunity. I feel like I let him down. Man, I don't know how I'm going to tell Pops this one. What's up with my little man? How was school, boy? School was good. How you did on a history test? I, I didn't do so good. What? You didn't do so good? What's the problem? Huh? Did your mom help you? Did she study, help you study or what? What's going on? Uh, I, I studied, yes. You studied? When you studied? Huh? When did you study? Yesterday. Dad was pretty upset with me. And he had a right to be. I knew he was going to talk about this. All day he was angry. I didn't even get a chance to tell him that my teacher was going to let me take a makeup test. So that means you got to study. I'm not accepting nothing less. How are you going to...